Uh, we got Gangsta Williams again with my OG Giggity. You know, Mr. Civilian, bro. I'm a civilian this time, bro. Oh, you, so you took the name he ain't OG Giggity no more? I'm gonna be always OG. Listen, I'm Terrence Gangsta Williams, aka OG Giggity, aka Mr. Answer Right Back, aka People's Champ, Terrence Civilian Williams. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm Terrence Civilian Williams. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, hey, I am glad interview went to you. Oh man, I loved it. I mean, I was cool. You know, here's the thing, bro, about doing interviews. Everybody not gonna like it. Yeah. But everybody gonna watch it. Yeah. You get it? I get it. So when you do an interview, you want the critics, the trolls, everybody to play a part in it because now you get to feed off that. Because think about it. I did my interview with Vlad. If I didn't have haters or people who disagree with my interview, then you and I wouldn't be doing an interview right now. Yeah. Right? Because you got yeah. people who, who disagree, who don't like, or whatever something that I said or whatever happened. And they have a right to that. So that's why you and I are here today for you to see how I feel about what what, what someone who don't know me, who don't take care of me, have to say about me. <laughs> hey. But hey, he did run three ones about you be asking you three gay questions about jail or something like that. Like, what's what your take on that one? Is? Man, that's good. He cleared the air yeah. because you got some people in their mind like, do he mess with boys or young boys? I think he like boys. Or, did they, or I think he, you know, he with the rainbow community. Da, da, da. So when you on the internet, bro, like I always tell people, you have to b- develop bulletproof emotions. Number one, and number two, when a person interview you. You have the right to say, man, I don't want to talk about that or next question. Or before the interview, you can, you can get to a publicist and tell them, look, don't ask me all these questions. I don't do that. Yeah. My life open book. And the more I have people guessing and thinking, you got to keep it, I'm not a rapper. Yeah. I'm not a rapper. So I don't I don't drop albums. Or, 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 I'm not an actor. I'm not in a movie. So I got to only go off what the uh, 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 subscribers say and do. And that's what keep it going for me. Uh, all right, you know what I'm saying. My first question, you know what I'm saying. You oh, one of the we just I mean, it, 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 it was kind of <laughs> sort of, but all right, cool. You got the therapist, you know what I'm saying, and you two went hard. Hey, when I come out there, can I get uh, your therapist? Of course, I'm not both on, both on, both on. Yeah, all bro, right. listen, you gotta keep mine. You can have them two therapists, I didn't work with them already. <laughs> now, I need to get other therapists. <laughs> Because I, I got to see who better fit for me. So I don't just stick to two therapists and be like, okay, we locked in. I'm about to, I don't want you uh, seeing no the client. No, man. That's some hate stuff. Y'all go ahead over there. I let my boy G3 MSTV go kick it with him and, and see about his problem. And I'm over here. Yeah. I got some new stuff that I'm trying to see if I want to put them on, 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 on my payroll. Uh, you, you, do you have late night sessions or early morning sessions with your therapist? Both. It depends how I wake how, how I get out. Because as a person that needs a therapist, the therapist got to be uh, available around the clock. So I might wake up in the middle of the night and, and need to, uh, to, to, to seek counseling. You got to seek so, counseling. Yeah. So therefore, my therapist needs to be available for me 1448, not 24 7, but 1448. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of people been exposing people on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Exposing like the new wave for the bloggers. Like, what what's your take on that? You know what I'm saying? You think that's a good thing, bad thing? What's your take on people exposing other people? It's content. I look at it on you on the internet, and people love gossip. They love mess. So. When people find different stuff on people, they put it out there because you got people that are, that are exposed other people. You got people that like to throw the rock and hide their hand. You got people that like to talk about people in their backyard dirty. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, so if you got skeletons in the closet, you got stuff, you're just wearing your mask, and you got stuff, you know, you got to back up off the internet if you don't want to be exposed. See, I'm different from everybody else. Expose me because then that's going to bring me more interviews. You know, like I say, you know, whatever you bring it on out there, you know? So. But there ain't much they can talk about because I did have my life in prison. All right. So you think anybody, they can say anything, though? Like, 
you know how they be like, this the internet. I can say anything I want to say as long as it's entertaining. Yeah. You, you think they're right? It's not about do I think they're right or wrong. It's about can you handle it when you see the person who you're talking about. Uh, so if you got enough balls or, as a woman, enough courage to speak out on a person, when they see you face to face, be, be man or woman enough to deal with the situation, the consequences at hand. That's what you got to look at because we all act gangster behind the camera, behind, you know, on social media. I might never see you ever again in life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, social media has helped a lot of people to duck and hide, you know, slide and glide. Yeah. Hey, so that's that what I mean by that. You know what I'm saying? Because every action has a reaction. So a lot of people be like, oh, it's just the internet. That's that what I mean by that. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. you, you know, they, they don't use that. Excuse oh, it's just the internet. Yeah, but you're still talking about me. This is still got something to do with you slandering yeah, right. me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like I say, you got people that do. You got people that enjoy doing it. Some people feel like this. He or she not going to get to me, may never see me. So I'm going to say what I want to say, get my views, get me uh, some money, whatever, and this can help me get my next interview. So you got different things, different ways that people uh, approach certain situations. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I do local interviews, out of time interviews. See, that make it hard on me when people do that. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't know. It's just different. No, nah, no, no, it is. No, they don't make it hard. What it is, you look at it like if I interview Mr. Civilian and he speak bad about, uh, let's say, TTE Naughty. So now TTE Naughty, when you reach out to him, he might feel like, but now, nah, because you post that stuff, he said, man, you try to make me look bad, too. You try to help him out. So, man, yeah, I ain't rocking with you. I don't feel. So you won't, you don't want to mess up your relationships with certain people. No, nah, it, 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 when, when they come local, though, when they come local, you got to stand on what you stand on. So, you, you know what I'm saying? I can't just say anything about anybody. You know what I'm saying? Honey, calm down here. I just can't say nothing about him and then go out in the streets and be like, oh, it, oh and the damn day I said that on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that different. Yeah, you know yeah. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the yeah, now that's the part where you gotta say, okay, I gotta pick my pause. Yeah, I gotta be careful, you know what I'm saying? Now I would say this sometimes you have to relocate. If you want to be in this game, you gotta get in a in a, in a certain uh environment. Certain yeah. area to really open up on the internet because if you in a, in a city and you know this person got a lot of bad baggage or this person got stuff they did cool for you want to speak on but you scared of retaliation now you you, you don't need to be in this game because now you stop your money flow yeah you got a right to speak and like probably gonna say if 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 they caught Birdman putting up at Walmart dropping off the package in the world. No, no, no. This, I, I was in Texas dropping off a package of some bricks. Yeah. yeah. No, I got a right to be like, you big dummy. How you going to go from <laughs> multi million dollars, billions of album sales? Now you still doing this goofy stuff. The feds didn't want me. Now you still, you get them people that want me. Yeah. So now if somebody won't retaliate to hurt me because I spoke out on you too old to be doing this goofy stuff and you set for life, then I need to find me a safe place. If I want to do be a full time YouTuber, or if I want to do my podcast, because people, you have a lot of people who's not going to like what you say and do. And I learned this the other day. When I did the video on Monica and BG. Yeah, I had heard how Monica would uh, answer people, but she she hit me. Hey man, what's you know? Nah, that ain't you know. She got at me, straighten that though. She checked, but she was in my DM. I'm like, oh Monica in my DM, you know, go down in the DM. You know what I'm saying? And then people thought I was capping because I didn't put what she said. And yeah. she come right back and say, yeah, I had to go in his DM and how I let him about a lot. So I go back to what I say. You got to be careful what you say, how you say it, and or wherever you at. But people don't want to come to your channel if you want some kumbaya. And they're also going to tell you this, bro. You can't show favor. Certain stuff, they're going to be like, well, you won't speak on that, but you won't speak on this. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to ask you this, though. Like, what was with you and the Magnolia twin? They're my homies. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. yeah, I love them. Yeah, but we troll one another. 
Yeah, yeah, true. With respect, though. So it's not like we just straight uh, to well on old past stuff or y'all this or that or, or, or they tell me that. No, we go at each other on what we got going on right now. If you do something crazy, though, know, we just be having fun trolling each other. We don't have no personal beef. At all. I help them out. Um, yeah, they said that, they, they said that on one of the other channels I seen. They said they they fuck with you. They people trying to make them pick side. I was yeah, there. Uh -huh. yeah they, that's bad. Yeah, and I seen you you did turn around and say take they 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 thing about the the cash money supposed to come back to the city and, and the no limit thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. so, so that's your your real take that. No limit or cash money don't really pull to come back to the city and help people. I never said that they don't supposed to go back. What you said? What I said man. was this. See, that's why it's good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to get the fake. I I I I've been mixing up a little bit. Yeah, a lot just now. What I said was this. <laughs> this is what's going on in the city. You got rappers are crying out saying cash money or master P not reaching back to them, not not helping them out. Yeah. So my take was stop crying, go out and get your own. Stop worrying about nobody not doing for you and go do your own. Right. Um, my, cause social media now is what's helping people get on. People getting deals through TikTok. So when you say any people not helping you out, not reaching back to the city, you looking for a handout crush, and them people feel like this. I'm just gonna use cash, but I can't speak on P. Mm -hmm. Cash money have gave. Two artists that I can think of in the recent years deals. BT, BTY and who else? Uh, Young Greatness. Young Greatness, all right. Yeah, that I found that. Beth on Pad. Uh, feel sorry. Right. Them. So now when these people give you an advance up front, invest money in you, they're looking for a return. Yeah. So now you still want to try out the fence and get them hoods and go in the streets and you get killed. Now they got to take a loss. Yeah. So one would be like, man, I'm tired of messing with that city, man. They they still in the game, they still wilding. So I'm gonna look us elsewhere for talent because it's talent all over the United States, over the, world. the yeah. world. Yeah, it is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. um that's just what they that's what cash money at with it. Like, man, I ain't about to keep putting money. I'm into making money, not losing money. That's the case. I might just go in the hood. Come here, you young man. Here, take this hundred grand. He come in, I might well get my money away. That's the case. So that's what all I was just saying. How and then here's another thing: yeah. social media has messed up hip hop. First, they did. They, they did. I, I first agree and with foremost, that. You ain't gotta pay. Thing. Yeah, you got a lot of rap that got good lyrics. Everybody's yeah. spitting. I can spit with some good lyrics, but can you make a good song? Yeah. The last ain't time, no, they ain't nobody trying to make no good song. They going out their emotion. The, think about this here: one of the hottest young rappers, NBA young boy. He don't yeah. have a hit. Yeah. He just people love him, supporting his song. The last time I want to say we had somebody with a hit song was uh uh, uh what's that Uzi Vert? Yeah. The last time we had a hit, somebody with a hit song that really catches people. People don't have a hit song, but they just got they just talking about yeah the girl, the money, the guns. Yeah. Bop bop bop. You know what I'm saying? And in the hard beat where people gonna be in there. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, you know, what it is. Yeah, man, you stop crying and keep grinding. Yeah, but 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 your people put in the work because I not seen you share some new old rappers, man. I with Lil Wildlife, everybody. Yeah, yeah. You thought they assigned like Lil Wildlife or somebody like that? You know what I'm saying? That here's the thing. Them. Like it's going back to what I say with social media, right? Yeah. You throw your song out there, so they watch it. They watch it. They watch it. They see what kind of work you doing. So now once you do the work, and if you got a fan base that jump onto your work, now they're like, oh, okay. I, I see you, boy. Okay, that's what's up. I like that. So at the end of the day, um, yeah, I'm always support the home team, number one. But I'm going to support everybody. Any rapper that come to me, as long as they not degrading women or children, I'm going to support it. Or talk about, talk about religion, I'm going to support that. All right, what, what do you think about the uh, you know, Kendra Moore that said that about uh, with the Drake thing? Drake, you think they're good for for the culture? Or what? What you say? I'm saying that you, you didn't see the that new verse he did and said he, you know, what I'm saying like he the, the best at it and he took a little shots at Drake and stuff. 
Kendrick Lamar. Lamar said that? Yeah, on, on the future thing. Oh, no, I didn't hear that. Um, uh, uh, but, but now, but no, no, let me, I can still speak on it, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 so we know Drake been killing the game for years now. Drake's still consistent to this day with his music. People love Drake. So it's right for Kendrick Lamar to go at him. Who else is Kendrick Lamar, Lamar going to go at? He, he went at him and J. Cole. And J. Cole got, he, he went at two big dogs. So yeah. here you go. That, and that's a good big three right there. Yeah. Besides the youngsters that's out now. So you got Drake, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. All three with lyrics, all three that can produce a hit. So, yeah. why would he say that? Okay, I'm, I'm challenging my peers now. Yeah, so that's yeah. what I'm saying that it's good for hip hop and stuff, it's like the street beats. Yeah, because 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 now people gonna wait for Drake. Answer yeah. that back, Drake. What you say? Drake gonna throw a little diss back at him and keep it going. See, they do now. It's not like Kendrick Lamar come and say Drake and J Cole some job coward, whoop the whoop the whoop, you know. He just say, I'm the best. I'm the best. You got to write the I'm, Listen, I'm Mr. Answer Right Back. I'm the people tell. <laughs> so I feel like I feel like I've been killing the game on his YouTube. But you yeah. got people that's, that, that's way better than I am that do more views than me. Yeah. But I feel for in my lane that I'm the man. You know, ain't too many people more, do more views than you, man. Well, I had to throw it out to make him feel good. But, you know, <laughs> I ain't going to argue with you about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, or, or, or y'all the music, right? I'm listening to the old 400 degrees. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I want 400 degrees juvenile shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what depicted your role in New Orleans? Or did he rap about you on that CD? And which one? If, if he did rap about you, which song would be your song? I don't know if he rapped about me. Yeah, yeah. But the hot boy lifestyle. Or that's what I'm about to say, but I'm about to say, but it's hard for Juvie to live in the same. Me and Juvie, I went to Juvie, I mean, went to elementary school together. So yeah. it's hard for somebody that went to school with me to stay in the same person I stayed in. We've been around each other multiple times. Um, we know one another to not rap about me, to not put like, no. And this also this this one I'm on my arrogant cocky stuff, right? If you don't say my name and you rap, you are my president, you hating on me. I set the blood the blueprint. I'm I laid down the map for this is how it's gonna go. I was one of them, not D. Let me right. straighten that. So um matter of fact, on you understand I, I, you understand. No, 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 on that on, uh, on his soldier rag thing, yeah. On enemy turf I'm on, I'm gonna play it how it go. Yeah, you see. Gangster be busting head, big race be thinking I ain't about busting head. <laughs> you got to say, listen, if you don't say my name, you hate me. Okay. I'm coming through in the present with the foreign whips at a young age, throwing money out the sunroof at a young age. You know, the DJ, the girls loving me, hot boy, hard to kill. So how you not mention me, that mean if you hating on me, I'll hit your old lady or one of your bros back then or, or beef with one of your family members, you feel like I ain't going to get him no, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, but Juvie never done that. Be yeah. Think about it. Everybody don't cash money and say my name, even Wayne. Hey, baby, Wayne. Uh, Come on, bro. Wayne. Word to giggity. Come on. Man. Listen. <laughs> hey, bro. You can't get around this, bro. You can't get around me, bro. Hey, listen. You can hide history, but you can't erase it. Hey, can't you erase it. Can't erase it <laughs> no matter how much you try, you can hide it, but you can't erase it, bro. I'm gonna look at he gonna pop his shit. I, I would listen to it. I would listen to uh, you know how uh, I think how he went from gangster music to your little songs, your slow motion, and all that from off his first. That's hits, right? <laughs> and, and, and you, you was in jail after that, right? Yeah, I was in faith for all that. 
Yeah, no, I'm saying, but where he went is 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 in love music. That when you was in jail, so right. you, know, you know what I'm saying. But your gangster music, you was still loud, and there was more about the gangster stuff. You in know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, you know people. But this, I wasn't home for his for his degrees. I was home for his soldier egg album. Yeah, we probably recorded that before then. Huh? Yeah, before he before they got the deal, I was home for that. I was home yeah. for a degree, but he took some songs. From there and put over there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah man. You, you know, Julie, you got it, bro. They all got the screen giving you name. <laughs> they got the screen giving you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man, you, know, you, know. you hating. You hating on me, number one. Then I got to find out why you hating. Oh, I remember this. I remember you come to that coat. Y'all had that yapper. And I was like, man, look, <laughs> don't clear this thing out. And he felt the type of way. I'm going to go to thinking, like, what did I do for him to feel like, you know what I'm saying? He want to not mention my name in the song night, you know, so that, that that would be my thing, but um, I never, I was never a disrespectful type guy. Yeah, I was one of the ones that I just had a business. Um, I just, I just had low tolerance, I had low tolerance for the bull, and um, when it's time to get out there, I, I got out there. All right, so I want to get into the documentary. You seen the Rare People documentary? No, I heard about it. To... I heard about it, I didn't see it. You ain't see it. So nope. you won't, you know, if it got no truth into it. I'm, I'm gonna give you one statement. They were like, "Uh, you calculate or smart and mix with crazy." Would you agree with that? You know? What yeah. I'm yes. <laughs> we all listen. Well, I'm not gonna speak on. I'm gonna speak on me. Yeah. I yeah. admit. I told you guys, I need a therapist. I might need help. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Look, they also said. The police try to make you confess to a hundred bodies. Mm-hmm. It's then, certain, this is what happened. It's certain, like this is how it goes. People who got locked up before me, right? They might say, Oh, gangster killed such and such because baby them told him to kill such and such. Yeah. So now they're gonna record everything when people say. Yeah. So now when I sit in there now, they bring oh, hey, we heard that you killed such. They're not gonna tell me who told them that, but they're gonna let me dig out of the road. So Oh, you you want to confess? So now here's the thing: when you cooperate, you got to tell them everything you've done, right? But there's certain things you'd be like, "Man, I can't do that." Or no, I ain't gonna do that because the thing is, once you cooperate and talk about these bodies, certain bodies, they're gonna go pick up some people, or they're gonna go start investigating them people to get collaborating witness to uh, indict these people. Yeah. So that was a thing where I was like, "No, I certain stuff," and that's what the prosecutor's mad at me about. She wanted me to get 40 years. She didn't want me to get him right out of prison. Hey, so don't know what I'm saying? Like in 1994, which I had like 400, and you saying you had like a quarter of that? Well, I don't know what we had. I just know I was just participating. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't, bro. I don't know what we had. I wouldn't. I was like, <laughs> I saying, bro, it was not document that came up, came out, and it might was a black and more. And they said I had 400 in 1994, guys. guys. You but it's the thing, bro. I've been into the I've been into the street life uh since I was 11 years old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That what they said. That's what they said. So, to... Yeah, so I first went to jail, and this is my PSI for breaking in my cousin's house next door to me, trying to steal yeah. his Atari. So from there, you know. Hello, hello, guys. Why, why steal his Atari? You were playing with him. Nah, because he had to bring it home. I want to play with it. I want to play with it. I don't want to play what he want me to play with. I, I need to play this now. I want, I want to click. I don't want to go to school. Listen, my mother used to get up. Let me tell what my mother used to do. My mother get up like around 5 in the morning. Back then, we'd be still dark. So yeah. I would walk, one time we walk my mother to the, to the bus stop, right? Walk my mother to the bus stop. She catch the bus to work. Now we up. So now it's three boys down, so it's boring. Yeah. So I need. I want the Atari. Mom couldn't afford that. I'm not. But she wanted to buy us a, a Nintendo. We did get that. But before that, um, you no. Know, mom got to pay these bills, so she got to get these three boys. So what happens is when mother, when my mother go to work, school around like seven something. Yeah. So she gonna work at five in the morning. That leave us at home by ourselves to get yeah. ourselves together, me and my brothers, to go to school. You know, we talk time, man. I ain't about to go over. I ain't do. I'm staying home. <laughs> we ain't got no chaperone, so we stay at home. But mom got to keep this roof over our head. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? And my, and my big brother Chris, you know, he go to school. He ain't. Matter of fact, we all went. Me and my brothers went to at the same elementary school. Now I think about it. But like I say, sometimes, man, I don't want to go to school. I want to stay home, but I want to play the game. The game next door. <laughs> my cousin at school. I need to borrow the game. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about what was going to happen. I was going to hide it. I just wanted to get that game right then and there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I want to ask you. In the state of Louisiana, when, when, is it anybody got more body than you? I don't I know. I ain't glorifying it, though, but I'm saying you've been in there a long either. time. But here's but the thing. Do, do anybody got more body than you? They might. Um, Ooh, I'm saying, you know, you know you've been in jail. Yeah. Hold on, this is what I'm about to tell you. They might have more bodies, right? But the thing is this. I don't, I, was I, wasn't, I wasn't counting their bodies. You know what I'm saying? I was just running with a crew. I was just running with older people that was gangsters that I was there with them. And what it was, I, I was one of the ones, man, that ain't nothing I do. You know, you just run your mouth and you be like, all right, they put you to test. Like, let me see. So that's what happened. I had to be around a lot of stuff. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody have more cases than you for a bad while. No. Not that I know of. <laughs> and why ain't nobody... Uh, you, you said that what you just said. Why ain't nobody never snitched on guys? They have. I I've mean, that arrested. one person. That, that one person. No, 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 no. Guy. I've been arrested in 1994, right? Yeah. I got arrested for um, intimidating a witness. January. Yeah. February, I went to jail for homicide, 94. Stabbed, shot, then I went back to jail for homicide in August of 94. So somebody telling on me. <laughs> Think about it. Then I go to the Fed. So the dude wore the white. What was what happened? First, he hit me. I said, beep him. I said, hit him. He hit him. Well, he said, beat me. See this here? Yeah. He hit me on the pager. Bro, I'm trying to cop. And what's that? So we going back and forth with that, right? Yeah. So now I did, he hit me now. <laughs> still blowing me up. He got me, got me in trouble. He's still blowing my beef up. So uh, the Fed tapped my phone. Yeah. So there are people that were telling, that were saying stuff, but the people had to catch me. Uh, Did the man just say I'm smart, shrewd, yeah. and not a maneuver? Yeah. And he also said that you made Booster tell on himself. Well, I didn't I mean, make Booster tell on himself. Booster been. But you, me and Booster just got cool. <laughs> That's my homeboy. Now you know make the fall out again? Come no, on, they, man. No, I'm saying, I was going out the documentary. They said that it oh. is right that he was on death row and it was one man said. So in actuality, what you said was true, but he also did go to population later on. So mm -hmm. that's what they said on documentary. That's see, this is this here's the thing. This this what it was. I had a lot of pushback because I was the one coming from prison, told to get out. I'm the outcast on the internet, Bootsy the hero. So when when when, when Bootsy and I clashed. It was a lot of people that was already loving and riding with Boosie. Whoa. That's the third amendment. Um, so, 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 um, so, so for uh, me to speak out on him, a lot of people were shocked. A lot of people were like, whoa, surprise. It wasn't until later they started realizing that, hey, this dude got a little truth to what he's talking about. Well, hold on. Because, you know, a person, when a person's so far gone to they like you as a person or they like your character, sometimes they don't want to hear no bad about you. They're not accepting that. It's not that they really sit down and say, well, hold on. Let me look into this. He got a good point. Well, hold on. This is, you know, then they're like, oh, but if down, it'd be too late because you already been, went off on me and da 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 Then you're like, oh, man, that man was right. So it's one of those situations, bro. I'm a guy from the streets, and now I'm on the internet. I'm playing on the internet. So whatever people say, whatever they say, all right, cool, that's what's up, and go from there. And I'm enjoying it because it's a job for me. 
<laughs> it's a job. So uh, if you ain't went to prison, you know what I'm saying? Where you think you'll be at? If you ain't went to prison, where you went to prison, where you think you'll be, guys? Well, I don't know where I will be. I would say this. I, will, I think I, I think I will be uh, a follower, meaning like, <laughs> he not for real, like running with Birdman. So, <laughs> nah, this is true, you know, because you got to keep in mind, they got everything. So yeah. I would be right there like, okay, Big Bro them got it. They got the house to call. I could jump in anyone to call. I'm good. I don't need nothing. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So, so at the end of the day, um, I'm I'm happy on my own man. Mm-hmm. You know, it took me a long time to go, and, I, and I, I'm not saying that was cool to do that. But at the end of the day, I got something out of it now because now I can I just look you and everybody else in the eye and say, "Hey, I built my platform from the ground up." Think about this, bro. My 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 platform is constantly growing, constantly growing, yeah. right? Now, just imagine that baby. BG, they all came out and said, man, I'm rocking with gangsta. How the world trade that's going to blow up because all their fans and everybody, oh, 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 because there's a lot of people that like me. A lot of people want to rock with me, but they're scared what the next person going to say. So that shows a lot about your character. You you worry about what the next man going to say. Be your own man, right? So, um, but it's good for me, like I said, because when I talk to people, I can let them know, hey, I, I went against all eyes. You know what I'm saying? I did this here without them. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. So you think anybody can live through your shoes? Like it, that, that's why I asked you about was you the bigger person in Louisiana? And how people how you think people can judge you if you ain't been that many people do what you did in life? I don't think I don't think I'm the biggest. I I'm I don't think I'm the biggest in, in Louisiana. I just think that I'm the most I'm battle wise. I'm talking about battle wise. And, no, somebody and tell you, you got people that's been laying stuff down. They not talking yeah. about it. I just I made know. a lane where I'm like, because I got immunity. I talk about it. A lot of uh, people can't talk about a lot of stuff that they've done. Yeah. But you know yeah. this though, even with me having immunity, getting out of prison, and talking about this, you notice I've never mentioned names. I've never went into details on bodies of me walking down, walking somebody down or, you know, doing whatever. I just talk about, yeah, that, that. but I talk about hood stories and other stuff. Yeah. And the reason why I do that, because I know people have family and then, you know, um, I remember one, uh, one, one, one of the people, one of the victim uh, father asked me, did my son suffer? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is this, um, as a mother or father, they don't look at my son a criminal. My son was a killer too. They look at this was my child. Yeah. All the other stuff I don't know about that. I know about this. So I'm always mindful is when I come on this internet what to say, how to say it, because I know the parents still listening. Everybody love OG Giggity, so they watch what I say and what I do. That's yeah. just a fact. Yeah. So all right, we finna get into that before we were gonna wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Recently, you been taking note for your boy TT Nada, my brother. Your brother-in-law, like, yeah. why, why, why you did that? I don't know why OG Giggity did that. Okay, he came at me first. Disrespectful, cussing me out, do this, this, right? Yeah. Um, I seen why I could capitalize off it, so that's what I did. <laughs> so now, hello, man, you can't be too real all the time. <laughs> what? You ask me a question, I gotta tell the truth, bro. <laughs> I got to tell you. Keep going, keep going, man. So he come for me, and I didn't call. Yeah. So now when I when, 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 when I got on his butt, it's like, whoa! I ain't know I ain't know this was gonna happen. Yeah. I'm a different type of guy. You got a guy that really was in the streets. I I pledged allegiance to my gun when I was in the streets. I was with the bull. Yeah. So when I was stepping, I was stepping. But now that I'm that now that I'm on the sideline, I denounce the streets. I still know how to think on the internet. Yeah. So when you come for me, and if I see I can capitalize, I'm going to answer. I'm going to respond accordingly. And that's the thing that he didn't understand. He didn't get. And by me being a people champ, a dude hooked me with his sister. So when his sister came out with all this stuff, that made him look even bad because it's like, oh, whoa, you, people coming at you now. He giggity got your sister coming at you too, so it made it all look good for me. Yeah. And 
we always say the internet love lies. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So um it's a delusion. So you're gonna create the delusion which you want the people to see. This is the facade I'm gonna put together, and then it's up to you to take it. So all I gotta do is to have a little truth and stretch a line, and it's gonna sound believable. That's what so, goes on on the internet. All right. So do you think that's what he was doing with his case? Do you still think he was truthful about his situation? What you mean? When he got when he got busted downtown. Huh? When he got busted downtown. The new case? Yeah, the new case. See, I don't well, here's the thing with that. Oh, you don't know. Do you know that I didn't do a video trolling him on that? Yeah. Man, you know how to make some money though. They wanted my perspective on it, right? Yeah. I didn't get on, I didn't do a video on because like certain things I won't entertain, certain things I won't do video on yeah. because I got my own problem, my own situation with that rat stuff. Yeah. So I'm not gonna troll or uh, <laughs> do certain stuff on people with that. That's a touchy subject. Um so <laughs> So I was like, nah, you know, sometimes bro, you gotta lead by example. <laughs> you, gotta lead, you gotta get out of the way. Yeah, I say this will help. I'm gonna say this one up. You know how you always say this here, bro? All money ain't good money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see I see you leave the old man. I see you getting up out of the way. I see you got oh no man. Oh, I had to hook up old man. Old yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. Boy. Yeah, that's what you got out of the way when he talked about it. Yeah, that's one person you don't never want on your bad side. Yeah, old man, man TV. Yeah. Old man TV gonna give you the business. Yeah. I hooked up with old man. You know, I said you can't beat him, John. Yeah. So I hooked up with old man. So I'm like, okay. And I show people this too. It's good to show unity in this game. Yeah. Because what happens is other people who feel like, no, nah, I don't want to hook up with him. Man, they making it work. They getting money together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it comes to a point where sometimes you might run out of content. You need that person. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm looking at it like, okay, let me go reach out to him and see if I can get something. I might get an interview. Or he might know somebody that I'm trying to contact or do an interview with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all got different plugs. Different people. Oh, you know what, boy? Yeah, man, I got to let me holler for you. Put me, you know what I'm saying? Put me with him. So it's always good to network and politic with people. See, that's the problem. We got we to stop hating on one another and see if we can come together and help Get some money. It's enough money for all of them. See, this is what I like about YouTube. You can't hurt me. I can't hurt you. Only thing is, YouTube's like a TV. You can put, like, say, it's like you interview me right now. Yeah. So now you might, people going to come to your channel. Let me see what OG Giggy talking about. If you, if you, if you interview uh, Le John John from down the block, people might be like, I don't want to hear that, man. He ain't nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He sell crack. I sell crack. Beat it. Get out of here. Yeah. But in OG Gator interview, he might say something about cash money or bird man, or he might say something that we haven't heard and whoa, yeah. yeah. So we kind of believe it. He might have some truth to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, you know, sometimes it's good to politic and network with people uh, that I might not. Like I said I might not be able to, like I like I got to connect with TTE Nada. You don't have that. Yeah. And I can put y'all two together. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, certain people don't have a way to contact. Brother Law, yeah. I do. So <laughs> I, can get him out where I can put this content on your thing, and then he could come forward and say, Bro, when I came mm -hmm. to Alabama, this would happen. Do I owe <laughs> Alabama an apology? Yes or no? Yeah, he owes an apology. I mean, okay, come on. on. Yeah, come on. So now, so now that's your job as a, as a, as a YouTuber, the man who got who do uh, interviews and stuff, to say, Hey, I'm from Alabama, I'm repping my city, but I'm in repping my state. Yeah. So at the end of the day, bro, I feel you owe us an apology. You know, you disrespect us. You pop, 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 pop. That's yeah. your job. Yeah, that's my job. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's just how the game go, bro. That's how that's how it works. See, I got my homies head on now. They, they from New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, that guy, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta support the people, bro. You gotta do what you do. Then I got my own hey. gear. Where my hat's at? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Where you get? Yeah, I got the Mr. Civilian hat. We're finna, finna get ready to wrap it up. You said Mr. Civilian hat. Yeah, I got these hats online. Where they, where they, where they located at? Online. I got my own website. Hey, I'm still mad that you didn't come down for Mardi Gras, but that's another set. I can't another leave. Day. No, oh, you know what's crazy, bro? <laughs> hey, no, for real. Listen. <laughs> bro, this is my word, bro. Yo, I slip. Because let me show you yeah. something. Uh, I can't go to New Orleans, right? Yeah. You I should come over there. 
and for my girl. Bro, listen, yeah. listen to me. Listen to me. And y'all, and you got this recorded. Yeah. Go with it next year. If I'm not on paper and them people acting up, they don't still want me to let, let me go to NO, I give you my word. I'm coming hang out with you in Alabama. All right, Mobile. Yeah, bro. Yo, let me tell you what's crazy. You let so y'all you let Birdman come down here before you came down here. But he got but here's the thing though, bro. Birdman, because here's the thing now. Here's the thing. Birdman can move around, bro. I gotta get permission. Uh, uh, but guess what? Yeah. And let me tell you so you know I like to troll. Yeah. Don't you know that would have been some good footage for me to be in Mobile, Alabama at the Mardi Gras? Yeah, I'm not here. Man, you just gave me a beautiful idea, bro. <laughs> For real, bro. Listen, you just I don't know what you told me. Why you ain't calling me? Uh, you try to know. You know me. You try. You, you try to know me. Yeah, I do be doing that. But I don't change. <laughs> yeah. I didn't change the Instagram. I didn't change my Instagram. I, I went thinking I would hear you up on your number. It was it's a little white. What part of Alabama you in? Mobile. The same part. Where come from? How far you from? Two and a half. Oh. Birmingham. Mm, I think it's like four hours. See, I'm going to be in Birmingham in May. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't that far. Yeah, but what I'm trying to tell you, bro, you could have hit me in the Instagram. Yeah, come down. And I'd have been like, whoa, I'm going down and hang out. You, you, yeah. I mean, he charged the number. I just told you what happened. But he I don't change number. Instagram, though. I want to think about that. I don't oh, Instagram. Okay, so we even now. Because how, yeah, how, yeah. how we got back together just now? Yeah, Instagram. All right, then. Instagram. I, I want to now, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you slide with that one. You want, you want that one. All right, but mm -hmm. okay. all right, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the uh the reality show before we get out of here. But I just wanna know why you wear your chain and your watch to Vlad interview. This chain and yeah, your watch to the Vlad. You had a you had a Cuban link on. Why you ain't represent that? Well, because this chain and watch. It's only for my show, right? <laughs> um, I've worn that watch before. I did wear that watch on Real Life Street Star. Now I say, I think about it. Yeah. But uh, I, I felt like I wanted to switch it up, uh, do something right. different. Um, and like I say, that ain't for everybody. All right, that ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And look, good thing I did. Look how bad come back and tell Boosie, y'all pressed him. <laughs> There's people going on now with that word press. You know what I'm saying? So you got some people don't like him using that terminology. I pressed him. Then some people hit me and said, no, nah, bro, he ain't meaning like that. He was saying like, you know, as journalists, we impressed to get more uh, uh, scrutiny and, and clarification. But I say in the hood, we use the word press in jail. Mm -hmm. I punk him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I said, so we doing urban interviews. Yeah. Hood stuff. So you can't use that word yeah, you and know. not get the backlash. Yeah, yeah. And that's what happened. A lot of my people went in on him. But the thing was this. Everybody was able to make some money. That's what I like. Yeah, everybody had fun. You know what I'm saying? I, but yeah. I, like I said, bro, I didn't get offended by it. I just responded yeah. and got up off that and went to the next. I went on to something else. That's what I do, bro. I, I, I'm going to see what's going on. See what they're talking about. And then I'm going to see uh, what else I can get into. You know what else I can come up with, you know, mm -hmm. and, 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 and keep that dollar going because I got bills to pay. All right, tell, tell the people about the uh, about the reality show because I, I looked at like twenty minutes, of it, but you got to explain it to me a little more. You know what I'm saying? If I can uh, figure out what's going on. Okay, the reality show come about because a lot of people be like, "Man, you a funny dude. You be having fun." Da da da. I be like, "Yeah, that's I've always been the type of guy. Speak out, have fun, laugh, whatever." So. When I see people hit me in my comments on my regular video, like, man, you made my day, you made me laugh, yeah, I had fun, I'm a truck driver, I listen to it. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to give them something. Because I'm looking at it like, God give me an opportunity now yeah. to make money and do something legal and positive, right? So I was like, I want to do a reality show. I, when I started watching the reality shows, I was like, that's easy to do. Yeah. I just got to get the camera, I got to get the people, let's that's, that's, that's roll. So the thing about it is finding women, finding people to be a part of something. Yeah. And my partner in Florida, his sister, she worked out, you know, and I went met her one time when I went down for the uh the little giveaway, the toy drive giveaway one year. Mm -hmm. So when I seen that she was a woman that that, that work, you know, that that do business and stuff, so I was like, I hit my partner wife. I said, Hey, you think 
told you to be down. She said, yeah, she do it, man. She good people. Call her. I hit her up. Yeah. I said, look, I'm going to fly you down. Da, da, da. So her and I started talking. I say, do you have another female that you know that you're comfortable with? Because, you know, with shows, um, and people like this, too, the drama, right? It's always yeah. this. This one, this one, da, 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 right? Yeah. So with, what we had is shows, uh, I want to start it off first with a good storyline. Then I'm going to walk them into it's going to come into the drama. And you know how oh, all right, all reality right. shows go. Yeah. But I want to start like from the beginning. Right? So right. let me set the tone first. So when she told me, yeah, I got my friend Kimberly. Oh, yeah, Kimberly called her. So we talked. So it was maybe like two weeks out from the date I booked for us to get together. So I said, listen, every day I'm going to call you guys and text you all. So we can start getting the hang and the feel of one another so it won't be awkward when we first meet up. You know what I'm saying? So every day we'll call, talk, kick it, laugh, kick it, da 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 So by the time they pull up, it was smooth, you know, and I got some at the end of that one when I said, okay, I'm going to bring in a younger female. So I bought in my co-host for my Cappy Cat podcast, Catrice. Uh, Did you see at the end of the video when that girl came to the shower? I didn't make oh, sure. Didn't you didn't watch it. No, I said, I, yeah, I got to like the first 15 minutes. You say 20 at first. What's this, bro? You, 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 I don't, you, you, you I don't know. It was, it was, I ain't understand what was going on. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't understand the concept. You know, so what it was, was, you trying to rush. You trying to rush through it. You weren't no, uh, trying to grasp it. Yeah, you weren't. Nah, because you the first person. You, you, you a storyteller, so I was trying to figure out. No, you look, you thought I was going to tell some hood story stuff on there. And you yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, want, I ain't used to wait on the drama. I'm pop. showing you I'm versatile, man. Yeah, I, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. I'm Listen, the rest of it. Uh, right yeah. now, you got a turban on your head, right? So you always in gangster killer mode. No, I ain't now with the gang kill mode. You I'm not? A I'm a I'm a civilian. They're like you a civilian. Okay, I like that. Well, if you a civilian like I'm a civilian, then you wouldn't you shouldn't be expecting no gangster stories all the time. No, it wasn't gangster. It was drama. That's what I'm trying yeah. to tell you. But you just say I, I, I thought you were gonna be a freak. I, I thought you were gonna be a freak in the video. I, I mean, a what? A freak. Oh, you thought we had him stripping and cutting up on them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to tell you? I gotta warm y'all. Look, I gotta get y'all. You know. <laughs> It was, too, it, was too, it was taking too long. And that's how it goes. So uh, I got to, because you got to you gotta think about this here. It's the calm before the storm. Uh, uh, so a lot of people just like the comedy part of it. Like, you know, you had fun. You made me laugh. That was cool. I like that. Uh, to you, so you so used to, I mean, you met in person. So you used to the hardcore series, my past. Yeah. Now we're in the present right now, brother. So I got to do things that out there that's going on now. I don't want to go glorify the stuff I really did. You got a lot of people who be online, rappers, uh, even uh, people on YouTube who lie about the streets. Yeah, I was really in the streets, so that's something that don't, don't that don't really pique my interest. But if people pay me to do my interview, I'm gonna talk about it. I get paid, yeah. but I don't. I'm not gonna freely go on my channel and yo, yeah, I called old boy at the red light and popped him. No, I ain't talking. About, I ain't saying that. I'm, no, just I'm just saying. saying I understand what you said, but I'm just saying yeah. you're not gonna get that on my reality show. On my reality show, you're gonna get fun. Google, I'm gonna have some women on there. Y'all gonna see some women. What we like to see, like like how love and hip hop is. I'm trying to follow that pattern because I'm yeah. by myself. I don't yeah. have a deal. I don't have I'm about to make them networks come to me. Yeah, I, I, I'm saying I, I don't I ain't into love and hip hop. So I, I looked at it and then seen there was a friend, and then she was telling her business, and I was like, uh so you want the hardcore guys. I mean, I, I ain't a movie watching guy. You I, like I, to watch I, stars, huh? You like to watch stars, right? That little yeah. movie, the, the network stars, yeah, with the gangster stories. Now, I ain't gotta be gangster. I was just like, it, I, I know you were gonna have to. It was gonna take a minute, and then you gonna get the feel, and then you get the hang of it, and then bam, because you're smart enough to boom. Yeah, you know but, I, but listen, on the reality show, there's no killing. Like somebody might bring up my past on him, and like, like say for this. Man, I, I, see, I don't want to give up all my stuff that I got coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, I, I'm sitting down talking to someone, and I'm trying to get to know this woman. So she might open up Pandora's box and bring up all this stuff about me. Oh, all right. I, no, I said I, I, I just watched 10, and then there's a lot of stuff going on in the YouTube world. So I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to get back to it tonight after I get out there. For sure. And everybody else need to lick it. I might do a reaction video. All right, well, I, I can get that money. 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We can look at it and I can get people in mobile look at it. Just, just, facts. Get that money. Yeah. But listen, this is what I tell people. Um, it's all about content. Yeah. There might be something that you don't like, you don't agree with, and you're like, nah, you know what? I think Gates should do uh, a bit to be or whatever. He should have did this. He should have did that. I wasn't feeling that. Or he didn't really do this right. All that constructive criticism. But at the end of the day, you get the get check. Better. And they help you get better because you most people listen listen to it and get better. Well, you know how they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, so I ain't gonna get no better. I'm just you know, get better, man. I'm nah, just gonna be me. I'm just gonna flow with the flow. You did, but you just gave me an idea to add to my show what I want to do. You just gave me a good idea. Like, <laughs> Write it down. Real good idea, man. So so oh, tell the people yeah. nine more before we get up out of here, guys. Huh? Um, what nine more before we get up out of here for you? Okay, two? I was naming it life at the prison. Then I was like, first I was called Life After the Feds. Oh, yeah. First I was called Life After the Feds. Then I said, I'm gonna name it Life After Prison because I might want to do other people on my on my reality show that been to prison that yeah. haven't been to the feds. So with that being said, I was like, I don't want to be stuck in the box of Life After the Feds. You're right. Because it's really about me, but eventually it's gonna spin off to other. Spin people. Off to yeah. But a lot of people haven't been in the feds. A lot of people been in the state. So I was like, okay, Life After Prison. A lot of people been in prison. Cool. Yeah. Then at the last moment, I was like, nah, my channel, Cash Money channel. You see this back there? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You see that? Cash Money? My channel is a cash, is a cash money channel. So I mean, it ain't gonna be, no, be no cash money tour, man. Hey, you keep on talking about cash money. It's gonna be a tour. It's gonna be a tour. Yeah, so by my channel being a cash money channel, that's why I named uh -huh. it Surviving Without Burden. <laughs> Yeah, that's the name of it. The word without verb, man. That, that, that was catchy. That was catchy, huh? Gotta give him, gotta give him a prop now. I came up with something with that one now. Yeah. So my, at this point, I'm just grinding, bro. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it do what it do, bro. And he had that slam. Yeah, I had you know, He he gave me a stamp of, uh, of approval. He like what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, uh, man. And, 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 my last question before we get out of here. Is you gonna squash it with BG, man? How you gonna have big games with him, baby games and not get along, man? Um I don't know. I don't know if I wanna squash with him. Because if I if I'm friend with everybody, then I ain't gonna have no content. I don't got nobody to troll. That's BG, man. What that That's mean? baby gangster. He got your name, bro. Hmm. Baby gangster, bro. Nah, bro. Listen, my thing is this. Um, you still on the street, though, man. You still on the street, though, man. Yeah, but he he's standing on business right now, and I'm on the other side. I'm a civilian, so uh, I gotta get him, bro. Oh, uh, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to be friends with him right now, uh, and he might not want to be friends with me too. Y'all think about this? It ain't just on me. He a grown man too. He might feel like, nah, I don't want to rock with you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, lead by example, cause I've been trying to. That's uh, why I've been at it on this top. When you do something wrong, I'm on you. I ain't showing no favoritism. But oh, uh, look how he doing Turk. <laughs> so so you ain't even on Turk side, uh, OZ. Yeah, I'm on. Listen, I'm I'm on. I mean, I, I I'm on what's right. So uh, if you notice my videos, I I I, I don't show no favoritism. I speak about baby Turk. BG, Wayne, Ju, whoever out of line, whoever do something, I'm going to point it out. Uh -huh. Real fact. All right. You said it on church side, but you forgot. You must ain't seen it. So you don't really be watching my channel. I don't see. be watching it, man. But you be, you be taking shots at Turk, too. I be feeling so I'm a Turk, man. I be take, I, I'm the one who told Turk to fight back. <laughs> you forgot? It? I said, Turk, BG, keep plucking you upside your head. Good little brother. Fight back. Turk. They don't crazy. make it no better. Uh -huh. hey, they don't make crazy. it no better. Yeah, he went crazy, bro. He said it all. Making no situation good. Yeah, he said it all, bro. So <laughs> at the end of the day, I don't take sides. I love all of them, but this is a content sport. So you put me in your show? Of course. Yeah, they want to oh, do it. I would, I would on, love. Now. I would love to have Turk in my show. What? And BG. Yeah. Yeah. That's the fam. Yeah. yeah. They gonna bring me number. They the one gonna help my show do what it do. They gonna help me get money. Yeah, I would love to have them in my show. Big facts. Yeah, I'm happy you say that. 
I need to bring my camera with me. Man, you don't have to throw a pen. <laughs> Bro, that's why I get my good idea when I talk with people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? I just come up with ideas where I can do certain stuff, bro. That's all. They might want to come down and check, right? They might come down. Fact. I'll let you live. I'll let you slam. Baby. Slam going to mess with you. Yeah. Big fat. Well, well, you know what I'm saying? What else you want to tell the people before we get out of here? Man, all I want to tell them is make sure y'all go on my channel, Gangster, the original hot boy. Look at my uh, my reality, the pilot for my reality show. Make sure y'all share it, support it, so we can have them big networks. Somebody come holler at me and knock on my door and offer me a check. Yeah. Well, right, so I can get out of the ghetto, y'all. Because right now I'm in the ghetto. Um, I got to sleep on the floor under the, by the window because I, I don't know if somebody going to send a bullet through there. They be shooting. You know, they living by the gun up time. That's just how it's going down. Right? I got to put a vest on the door. I'm particularly wiggly say that. But, uh, yeah, so, y'all, I'm trying to get out the ghetto. Nah, I'm just capping. I would. I, I, I ain't going to do the ghetto. Um, yeah, YouTube been too good to me. But at the end of the day, uh, real talk, Um, yeah, support my 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 my, uh, my, my reality pilot and, um. The more that you all support, share, and like it, that's the more I'm ex exposed I'm going to get. And then the people, you know, they got to give me a call. They got to reach out to me. So that's and what I'm, that's my mission. See, my mission is I'm going to retire from here and I want to go into the TV where I want to be on my Tyler Perry 50 Cent stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get out the way with this YouTube. I'm trying to get into the movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get them out the way with this. And tell them the way of fight to get the merch. It's on MrCivilian.com. Uh, I'm go on MrCivilian.com and um, they got shirts, vests. I got this here cups. But you want to drink the little cup, you know, the little coffee or tea, whatever. Yeah, I'm buy free too expensive. See that, Mr. Civilian, yeah. champ. Yeah, man. Hey, what about that? Uh, you just had cab money shirt on. I see you yesterday when you get that cab money. Oh, no, you talking about this? It isn't like cab money. Yeah, <laughs> what is that? What that is? That's your merch. My cat money jacket. <laughs> I got a picture of Wayne on here. <laughs> baby. See how baby look? Like I see what you're doing, Neff. Uh <laughs> nephew. I got Wayne right there. Cash money, baby. Yeah. That's your merch, guy. Huh? That's okay. That's your merch. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, uh, no, that's not nothing immersive. I wish that would, boy. I do. I make a killing on that. Right? <laughs> what? Five hundred jacket, play boy. <laughs> yeah, but nah, that ain't nothing immersive. I, I would love to have that to be the merch though. That's unfortunately no. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, uh, we gonna get out of here. This deal TV game, the hottest deals out the city. Wow, thank you for having me, bro. Uh.